project managers, we think and work holistically. So before we delve into talking about training your team and other stakeholders, let's zoom out to the broader context. The purpose of learning and development is to improve an employee's skills, knowledge, and competency so they could do better at work. Learning involves acquiring knowledge, skills, and attitudes, either through experience or study or by attending a training or workshop. The process of developing is all about expanding and deepening one's knowledge in line with one's goals. Development takes the long-term perspective. Organizations often want to be a matchmaker when it comes to development, seeking a win-win whereby development opportunities match the person's development goals and also aligns with the organization's goals as well. Development, of course, also involves lots of learning. And so when we bundle these two terms into one and say learning and development, we're talking about changing people's behavior for the better, sharing knowledge and insight that helps them do their jobs better, and cultivating attitudes and mindsets that enable them to perform better, feel better, and actually be healthier across all eight dimensions of wellness. I'll also sneak in again the Surgeon General uh, workplace uh, wellness as well. Another word we hear a lot when discussing learning and development is the word performance. What is performance? Well, the dictionary defines performance as the action or process of carrying out or accomplishing an action, task, or function. Within organizations, we see performance improvements being targeted and tracked on many levels. The organizational level, the department level, project level, team level, and individual level. Beyond the context of your project, organizations have a practice called workforce and talent management. This practice enables an organization to make sure that it has the right people with the right knowledge, skills, and attitudes all in the correct roles to support the organizational goals. Workforce and talent management covers the scope of planning, recruiting, onboarding, learning and development, performance measurement, and succession planning. To help with this, we often see a skills matrix for each and every employee at the organization. This would be, say, in the HR system. As a project manager, you know what skills you need your team members to possess, so this matrix will be super helpful for you to see. Also, part of your role is to, uh, sorry, is to develop and grow your team members. As they acquire more knowledge and skills, certifications, etc., you'll report these accomplishments to the workforce and talent practice that might be an HR department, a people ops department. This way, and the employee record gets brought up to date. You'll also want to, of course, celebrate, recognize, and reward the growth of your team members. PMI mentions the triple bottom line a lot these days. Value for your team members is actually an important aspect of the triple bottom line. People, planet, and profit. Personal and professional development, connection with purpose, mastery, and lighting up those other intrinsic motivators hold value for employees as does, of course, a paycheck. As a PM, you're also making sure your team members are fairly compensated. Learning and development then is really a win-win when it comes to value co-creation and project success. Also, from a holistic perspective, the continual improvement model from Axelos's IDLE 4 applies here as well. And what does this model look like? I have an example on screen that talks about I, but I'm gonna talk about it in the we sense. What's the vision? Where are we now? Where do we wanna be? How do we get there? Take action. Did we get there? And when we get there, we wanna report what happened to back to the organizational knowledge management practice and to the organizational change management practice as well. And then we go to how do we keep the momentum going and back up to the what's the vision question and go round and round and round. For everything we talk about, you can apply this continual improvement model. We're always imagining the end and what success specifically looks like at the end before we even begin. 